What is up guys, Neogenix here, and we're going to look at a game called Mordheim City of the Damned. Mordheim is based off of, a, off of a board game. I've actually never played the board game. Uh, I don't really know much about the board game, to be honest. There's a lot of lore that goes into the background of this game. It's There's a lot of lore similar to like uh, the Warhammer 40k universe, uh, stuff, stuff like that. It's got a lot, a lot of lore. Um, there's four different factions you can play right now, as you can see. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just play with the uh, the Wolves of the Waldstein. It's basically a human faction. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that right now. Um, there's going to be a lot more content added, as you can see. All this is coming soon. The only thing you can really do is you can manage your guys. And this is kind of what your units will look like. You can go in here, you can manage their armor, the helmets, and it actually does change the look. You get different, you know, you can put a two-hander on them, a crossbow, um, whatever you want. They also have uh, skills that you can do. So you can give them different kinds of skills. Um, there's actually a guy that's a magician, or a wizard type guy, and he has spells and stuff that you can use. The spells will all do different things. Um, and then there's that big ogre. This is like one of the elite impressive units is what they're called, impressive. Uh, every faction has one that's similar to this. Uh, so he's got a, a really big axe, two swords. You can put a mace and a different weapon. They, all the weapons do different things. Um, I've only played a few games of this so far. It's actually a pretty interesting game. The, the, it's pretty, the graphics are pretty good on it. Um, it's still in early access, like I said. There's going to be a lot more content added right now, or, or down the road. I mean, coming soon, coming soon. All this stuff is coming soon. So there's going to be a ton of stuff added. I cannot wait to play the campaign. Um, we'll just do a skirmish real quick. Uh, we'll create a game. Come on. Uh, we'll just go with Neogenic Skirmish. I'm going to go with an AI, a CPU. And uh, if you keep clicking this, you can actually choose a different faction to fight against. It'll, probably, it'll eventually change so that you can play against that one. You can play against uh, the females. Or you can play against the Skaven. So we're going to go ahead and play against the Skaven. You can, check, you can change the maps. There's different maps that you can pick from. I think there's like six or seven of them, something like that. Uh, we'll just pick this one. Time of day. Uh, you can pick day or night. Let's go with night. I've never, I don't think I've played a night one. Rivals in the Ruins. Let's see. I don't know what these are. Uh, warbands arrive on the scene from opposite directions, both deploying near their wagon. One of the warbands deployed around its wagon while the other split up into three small teams. Both warbands, both warbands are deploying in three small teams and spread out in the map. Warbands are deploying completely spread out randomly in the map, sca scared by something. Uh, Vision of the Dread. One warband deployed near its wagon while the other is scattered randomly in the map, scared by something. Horrors of Mordeheim. One warband deploys three small teams while the other is scattered randomly on the map. One more band is cop caught exploring buildings while the other arrives and deploys around its wagon. One more band is caught exploring buildings while the other arrives and deploys three small teams. So, I mean, there's all different kinds. Holy, I didn't ever even notice this. Uh, probably just going to go with... Uh, yeah, we'll just do this one. This way we both arrive on the scene with our, with our own units. We're not just randomly thrown out. Uh, winning conditions are just going to be basically just to, to, to kill the Skaven, to kill all their guys, or to make them rout. And there's a morale system. As your units start taking damage, they start getting critically hit. As they start uh, unconscious and uh, knocked out of the battle, your morale will start dropping. And uh, once your morale reaches... Give me a second. All right, I apologize about that. We had a little bit of technical difficulties. Uh, it was not loading. I had to re I had to kind of redo it. It was, I don't know. It was just giving me a problem. So anyway, um, like I was saying, the morale system in the game. In the top left corner, you can see a blue and a red bar. The blue bar is mine. The red bar is the enemy's. Once that starts dropping below a certain point, I'm not positive what the point is just yet. But once it starts dropping below a sort certain point, what'll happen is you have to take a a random check. It's basically like rolling the dice. Uh, if you fail the check, then you're then your whole war party will rout and they'll run away. Basically scared because they're going to lose. Uh, this is the overview system. Where you can see the whole map. You can only see... That's their, that's their wagon right here. That's right there. Uh, you can only see units on this map like this that your party can actually spot currently. So if I wasn't spotting these guys currently, then I wouldn't be able to actually see them on the map. And uh, as, you'll go, as it goes on, you'll be able to see. Let's... Uh, put out some more of this right here uh what button is it that button okay 
So as you can see, we can move around the map. You get the blue points are your movement points, how far you can move. So every time you go into a different blue circle, you see that it's changing. Now you can go back, just kind of walk over the points that you already went through, and you'll actually get your points back, as you see. So, yeah. I'm um, probably just going to cast a spell from right here. We're going to go with a fireball. Uh, not sure how this spell works. I've never actually cast at this. Uh, I guess I'm not close enough. So we'll cancel that. We'll get just a little bit closer. Get to about right here. Cast the fireball now. Look at all them guys over there we can hit. So we're going to go ahead and cast that and see what that looks like. Oh, I just casted armor of lead. I thought that was fireball. Uh, Alright, well, let's try to find fireball. I want to see what that, that spell looks like. I guess... Where is it? Lightning strike, blinding fireball. That's what I'm looking for. Let's hit these guys with the fireball. Let's see what that looks like. That was sexy. And I'm pretty much out of the red the, the red bar, the red circles down at the bottom uh, of where my health and the blue circles are is actually how many your attacks. And every certain attack takes, like that one takes one. You can see it only takes one. And if you want to look at what that does, you push the space bar. Increases the warrior spell casting chances from 10% on the next spell. But this chance to trigger a curse is increased by 15%. Uh, so, I mean, there's all different kinds. There's quick cast. So, but his turn is pretty much over. We're just going to go ahead and drop him back now. We don't want him getting rushed. This is our wizard. He will die extremely fast. Um, perception. Ah, there we go. I'm looking for dodge. So now he'll have a chance of dodging if he gets uh, into melee. And uh, we're going to take our big guy. Nope, maybe not. Uh, it's going to be this guy. He has a hunting rifle as his secondary. So we're actually going to change him to his hunting rifle as soon as I can find it. Switch weapons. Uh, I've only, like I said, I've only played a couple of games on this, so I'm not too familiar with all the mechanics. Uh, perception, where is? I guess he don't actually get. I have to get a little bit closer, maybe to hit these guys. Overwatch, trench, perception. I'm looking for like, it should be like aim, something like that, but it, I guess I don't have the range. Let's try to get a little closer. There we go, shoot. Alright, so we have different ones. That one takes four, this one takes three. That takes four, four. So we're just going to go with a shoot. Uh, that's the only guy I can hit. Usually you can move around and you can actually hit um, other targets. You can select other targets to hit. So I hit him for 48. Uh, and now it's just going to end his turn because there's, he has no movement left, not, nothing else he could have done. Uh, let's go ahead and switch his weapon also because I believe he's got a bow. I'm not sure if he can hit from here or not, so we're going to go ahead and try. I think that's going to be too far. Yep. You can also jump up and down. Uh, there's certain points that you can jump up onto. Down onto, like if I wanted to jump down over here instead of climbing down the stairs, you could do that. Um, I'd like to get this guy up a little bit on higher ground if I can not get through there because he's out of movement points. All right, we're just going to go back a little bit. Erg. Grab that one and grab this one. All right. Now we're going to go over here, as you can see, he doesn't have any more movement points to get up there, so we'll, uh, we're just going to end his turn right here, because he can't get up there anyway. Now we got the big guy here, this guy is a serious monster, he will rip people apart in melee combat, so we're just going to rush him in, stop him about right here, we're going to go into a frenzy. Uh, and that's all he can do for this turn, so we'll confirm and turn. That dude is just a monster. He's so big. Crossbow guy, we're going to run him. Probably try to get him up top also. So we actually have to wait. So we'll just... Uh, you can't stand too close to your own ally. As you saw, I was in the green circle, so I had no action. You have to stand outside of the green circle in order to confirm your turn. Waiting for the enemy now. Some of the guys I can't see are outside the my movement area where they're moving, so I can't see them just yet. All right, so the guy came in behind us. That sucks because I was on. I had my bow equipped instead of my shield and my sword. That's all right though. So this guy's gonna rush up. And he's gonna try to attack us. I've got so much freaking health on this guy. It's not gonna matter. 
He did a frenzy counterattack and knocked him out in one hit. 170 damage, knocked him down. He is done. That guy is completely out of the game now. You can loot these guys and take their equipment and weapons and stuff, but the problem is with that is because it's still early access, you don't actually get to keep all your weapons and armor and stuff that you find on the ground. So really there's no point in doing that just yet. Fear check because the guy's a monster. Hits me for 52. I'm going to swing at him. And I miss. He's going to go ahead and go into dodge stance. Meaning that he has a chance of dodging my attacks when I actually do go to swing at him. Another guy's going to come up. He's going after my guy with the uh, with the gun. So as you can see, their morale is at 87% now because I knocked one of their guys unconscious. This guy's also going to go on him. He's going to disengage, use one of his abilities to get back in there close, and then attack. This guy wants to attack the ogre also. The problem is the camera is sometimes a little bit buggy. They know that's an issue. They're trying to they're working on that to fix it. Uh, so I'm gonna get another counter attack. 79 knocked him out of action. Like I said, this dude is a monster. So he's gonna move up. He's gonna attack me also. Maybe 23. I get a counter attack. I miss. I'm going to swing at me one more time. I'm going to get another counterattack because I went into Frenzy style. Oh, maybe I don't. Alright, so this guy's got, looks like a spear and a shield. Alright, so he's going to try to push all the way forward. He's going to pull out his guns. And he's going to try to shoot my guy. Misses. Alright, so now my guys get to go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and rush up over here. Will I be able to get in? Yes, I can. We'll go ahead and swing at this guy. It's a miss. Uh, what, else, what else do I got? What does this do? Viral strike. Immediate attack that deals regular damage. There's an extra 10% chance to be a critical hit. What's a pierce strike? 25% voided. Armor break. What does that do? Immediate attack that deals regular if the damage is dealt. Reduced by 10%. Not bad. Probably just going to go with the strong below. Yeah, we'll go with a strong blow. If that would have hit, that would have done some nice damage. Uh, we just only have we can only attack now this time. So I'll swing at him, hit him for 68, and end our turn. Bring this guy up. We're actually going to switch his weapons, I believe, so that he's using two weapons. There we go. And we'll try to get him in here. Uh, there we go. Got him in. We're going to go with a strong blow. So like I said, the camera is a little bit funny. They know it's an issue, and they are working on that uh, in their early access. They're trying to get that fixed so that you're not looking at stuff through walls and stuff. Um, this guy's got dual pistols. Let me go ahead and pull those out. I am going to go over here and shoot at this guy. If it'll let me, I might not be close enough. Hand shot. We'll go with that. What was that? Oh, no, we don't want to shoot. I want a hand shot. Go for that guy missed and there's nothing else we can do he's out of points so he'll just end his turn this guy's gonna run up I'm gonna get him in there we're actually gonna switch his weapons too switch weapons and then we're gonna actually swift charge which I'm just outside here so when I swift charge it'll rush him in and then he gets a, a bonus to his attack as you saw right there 108 we're not gonna flee because fleeing is just silly we're just gonna end our turn so the morale's at 59% right now. So if I can just whittle the morale down a little bit more, they'll have to take a check, and then once they take their check, if they fail, we automatically win. So he's going to go parry stance. And our boy is up again. Excuse me. Let's see. Wow, okay, I see concentrate. Lightning strike. I think I'm going to hit a lightning strike on this, guys. We'll go ahead and hit this guy. Failure. Okay. No big deal. I wish we would just stay on that. Instead of rush, running around. There it is. Lightning strike. We're going to try to hit him again. 
64. Beautiful hit. Uh, must not have... Alright, Curse of Rust. I don't remember what this one does. Let's find out what this does. This is the armor absorption of the victim. Okay. So, come on. Curse of Rust. He doesn't have much health. He doesn't have much health. But the other guy is full, so we're going to hit the guy that's full. <clears throat> I'm not sure. It looked like it hit. It didn't say failed, so... Uh, we'll go wild casting. So the next thing we do, his next ability is going to be that much better. Concentration. I'm not sure if these all stack or not. Uh, like I said, I don't know all the mechanics. So we'll go with that, and then we'll just end his turn. So in his next turn, he should have some stuff built up. I'm not sure if that's going to work or not, but we will definitely try. Uh, staggering blow, kidney strike, strong blow. We're just going to go to a basic attack. It's only a 53%. What else we got? Delay. Uh, let's try a strong blow. I mean, that'll pretty much knock these guys down. Actually, they don't have that much health anyway. It'll almost kill this guy if we hit him. Oh, and it did. <laughs> uh, we'll go staggering blow on this guy. Missed. We're going to hit him again with it. Almost done. He's close to death. Uh, there's really not much else I can do but switch my weapons. I'm probably going to go ahead and switch over to his massive two-hander. And uh, we're not going to delay. We're going to end this turn. Cause there's nothing else he can do. This guy right here. What do I have? I have a crossbow. So we're just going to go ahead and attack. These guys are not very good at melee. These are my range guys I have not set up as. So... Don't surprise me to have these guys missing like they are. We're going to go dodge stance. And then... All alone check. He's good because there's two on one over here. So I have to do an all alone check. If he would have failed that, he had to flee. It would have made him flee and these two guys would have gotten free attacks onto him. Uh, we're going to switch his weapons to sword and shield. There's the camera bug again. And go do some attacks. He's still up. Hit him again. We don't want to dodge, do Yeah, we do. Alright, dodge. So now he's in a dodge stance. Uh, let's see who's next. They don't have many people left on the field, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and reload. And we're going to take another shot at these guys. Uh, we're going to go with a regular shot, though. Probably going to do an aim if we can. Yes, we can. Alright, so it's 45 on that guy. 69 on that guy. We're going to go with him. Hit him for 33. Let's, uh, where is it? Switch weapons. We're going to... Where's my frenzy? I guess I don't have enough for frenzy. So we'll just run up. As you can see, there's some guys like there. We'll run up on... Ah, just short. We'll go with ambush attack. So if that guy does flee or move, I should be able to get an attack off on him. So fear check failed, which means he has a le way less chance of hitting. I guess to go one more time, and he should get another attack. Possibly. Nope. I'm going to swing my big axe at your face. Come on, swing the axe. Nope, maybe not. Uh, muddy charge. We're going to go with a muddy charge. That guy doesn't have much health. I really don't want to charge that guy, to be honest. Kind of go around him. Uh, muddy charge on... That guy doesn't have much health either. Huh. It's the other guy I would really like to hit him with. Which would be this guy right here. I kind of can't, can I? Yeah. Because you have to pass through the little green circles on these guys. So, we'll just do it from right here. We'll do a mighty charge. If I hit, he'll be dead. He parried it. We don't want to parry, do we? We'll disengage. And then put him... Do we have ambush stance? No. So we'll just put him on parry. Oh, this guy's turn. We'll get him in here. This guy is so well armored. It's so hard to hit these guys. 60, 60, and another 60. Finally take him out. 
kills him off. We'll go ahead and push these guys up. We're going to push him to right here. Put him with a parry chance or stance. And now this guy, we need to put him with switch weapons. Probably should disengage him, to be honest. I don't know if he can or not. No, he cannot. So we'll just attack. Attack again. Alright, he got two good hits into him. Uh, da yeah, we're going to go dodge stance. So up a 60% chance of dodging one attack that comes at him. Like I said, it is a, it is a really good looking game. Um, it has a lot, has a long way to go still. I mean, there's still a ton of stuff that's going to happen. Um, not sure if I can use that. It doesn't look like it. See, as you saw right there, you can loot. I'll just show you what it looks like. You put their weapons away and they kind of like poke through them real quick. And then the, this will come up over here. As you can see, they've actually got some decent weapons here. So we'll just take all. So he's looted. And we'll go ahead and attack this guy. Missed. We'll attack again. Knocks him down. He's dead. We'll turn and face this guy. And we're going to go with Perry. Round three. Armor of lead. We would like to have lightning strike. It's the only guy I can hit. We'll go ahead after him. If I can kill him, we'll move up and we'll try to hit the other guy with a lightning strike. So he's down over here. Where is it? This can't get in range. We'll move over here. Are we going to be looking at him or what? There it was. Lightning strike on this guy. Failed. I guess that's going to be about it, so we'll just go ahead and go to parry stance. In case he disengages and comes after him. And that's a victory. That was a victory because they failed their morale check. They uh, they lost due to that. And as you can see, there'll be rewards, the dif different uh, complete all objectives. You'll get uh, experience based off that. You'll get rewards for battleground victory, uh, treasures. Uh, on the other side will be like what you did. Fallen Warriors been put out of action, so I had seven of the ten put out of action there. Uh, none of mine were put out of this, so they had ten guys to my nine. Um, down bottom, you'll see the most valuable warrior, who was the best on my team. You know who who's going to get the the bonus experience. Uh, and as you see, it would be uh, Does Grut, and then Quick Wit Shadow Knife would have gotten the bonus experience. And then you'll also get loot once the uh, the skirmish mode and everything is activated. But that's kind of all you can do is you can kind of you can also play against other players too, and you got the sisters of Sigmar. Go into them real quick. Come on, there it is. So you have the sisters of Sigmar. They've got different units, as you can see. And this is their this is their impressive unit right here. So she's kind of cool looking. And then uh, they get different weapons also. They get like a, a they get a, they can get a great flail which looks like that. Um, they get a, a, they can get a mace, daggers, and like I said, every one of these weapons does something different. Uh, they all have different different abilities. You know, everyone will give you something a little bit different you can work with. Uh, but that's the sisters. And we'll go over to the next people. Play skirmish, and then these are the uh, the cultists. That's right, cult of the pissing. Because it sounds like it would have been a good game from what I've read about. Uh, your leader here is actually like a wizard, and then you have this big dude right here. Uh, yeah, he's a freaking beast. Uh, then you got this guy. He looks pretty cool. And then you also got guys in the background here. So like, if you right click on him and I want to replace this guy, I can actually use two of those, uh, or I could replace him and have two of these instead. Uh, so, but that's by right clicking. It shows you what you can change out. So I can put this guy pretty much anywhere. Uh, these are henchmen, henchmen, these are henchmen, heroes. Only the he the only thing with heroes is they can only go up front here. So if you didn't want to use this guy, you could actually trade him out for anything. So you can actually move your guys around and rearrange your units to have whatever you'd like. Whatever kind of fits your playstyle mostly. And then we will check out the last one, which is the Skaven. Which is really weird because I never actually saw that. I didn't get to see their... Um, 
with him here in a second. This guy right him. I didn't get to see him. So Yeah, he's a big bastard. And the same thing, you know, you right click. You can't change your main hero out, but you can change out pretty much all the other guys. I uh, just kind of mouse over, right click, find out what you want to change. And then uh, you know, they got different weapons. Diff they've got, they've actually got different types of weapons. They've got the uh, the fighting claws. Um, they've got weeping blades, uh, warlock pistols, um, but everything's still a work in progress. But it is actually a really fun game to play. You can, like I said, you can play against other players in the skirmish mode. Uh, it'll put you in battle against other players. I haven't actually tried it yet because I've been just kind of learning the game little by little. But uh, I wanted to show this game off a little bit because I thought it was I thought it was pretty impressive. I think it has it has a long way to go still. But it is definitely a work in progress, and it is early access. Uh, you can pick this game up on Steam for around $32 American, somewhere around there. And uh, once the game is actually fully released, they said the price is actually going to be about another 20% on top of a 32 So uh, you might want to pick it up now if, you, if it looks interesting to you at all. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think of the game. Tell me um, if you guys would be interested in buying it or if you want to wait down the road to see what happens. Uh, definitely let me know. And uh, we will talk to you guys next time. Later.